I guess the question that I want to raise is why one would think that it's better in some way to biologically create your own child than to adopt and foster a child that already exists, um, one that is quite possibly suffering and certainly in need of parents. One reason why you might think that it's better is that, you know, well, it's easier. You just do the sex and then nine months later, baby. Um, well, obviously, it's a lot more complicated than that. And it's incredibly arduous for the mother. Um, and then once the child is born, there are various trials and tribulations that the um, biological parents then have to face. But there are no legal checks and balances. OK, there are no legal obstacles to biologically creating your own child. So in that sense, it's easier. Well, on the one hand, uh, on the other hand, just because something's easier doesn't mean that it's better. And in fact, in this situation, it seems like it's actually a good thing to have checks and balances to assess whether or not an adult is eligible for parenthood. OK, it probably prevents various forms of domestic abuse against children. Another reason why you might think that it's better to biologically create your own child rather than adopt and foster is that you think that, well, the connection that biological parents have to their children is somehow superior to the ones that adoptive parents or foster parents have to the children that they look after. I think that's horseshit, and I think it's also politically problematic um, on a number of levels to denigrate the relationship that non-biological parents have to their children. Um, I don't think adoptive or foster parents um, love their children any less than biological parents. Um, there doesn't seem to me to be any evidence of that. So are there reasons to prefer adoption and fostering over biological creation of your own children? Well, OK, let's leave to one side all of the problems that you get with um, overpopulation. OK. It still seems like the act of biological creation of a child is kind of selfish, right, um, where adoption and fostering isn't. You're bringing an entity into existence for some reason that has absolutely nothing to do with that entity because it doesn't exist yet, okay? You're not treating it, as Kant would say, as an end in itself. You're treating it as a means to an end, um, the furthering of your line or something like that. It just seems like it's a bit selfish. I don't know, but I just kind of... I think it's worthwhile raising questions about why one would want to biologically create your own child rather than adopt or foster.